Hello and welcome to this bedtime story. The Princess's Castle, a story for children. This bedtime story is a quiet time to let your body rest and your imagination come to life before you go to sleep. The story we will be enjoying this evening is called The Princess's Castle, a story about a girl your age who makes an exciting discovery in a magical garden. It does not matter if you normally like princesses or not, this story is good for everyone. Let yourself get comfortable, close your eyes if you like, and feel your body growing still. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a castle in the mountains. It was a most beautiful castle, made from stone and filled with room after room of delightful surprises. There were chambers filled with blocks and toy cars, stables filled with horses and friendly cats and even a giant swimming pool in the basement. Imagine that you are looking at this castle, walking through the bustling kitchens filled with your favourite snacks and skipping down the long, brightly lit hallways. The castle has all of your favourite things and you feel excited because you will soon meet the princess who lives here. And now, you hear a door opening up ahead, and know that the princess herself is coming to say hello. She wants to be your friend, and is very happy that you will be playing with her here today. Watch as she comes out into the hallway, smiling a big smile and waving at you. She runs up to you and gives you a big hug and tells you how much fun you will have together. You can say hello to the princess too and tell her your name or nickname. Let her show you around her home and if you want, take a break to play with some of her toys or games that you find along the way. The castle is a beautiful place but the most spectacular part of the princess's castle is the enchanted garden that lays outside. You go outside together and she shows you the magnificent flowers planted there. There are sunflowers as tall as a skyscraper and polka dotted toadstools as big as a sofa. There are flowers that you can blow in to make music and a waterfall that plays your favourite songs. But the most magnificent part of this garden is a very special swing hung from the tallest tree you have ever seen. It lies at the very centre of the garden, surrounded by the sweet smell of flowers and the chirping of songbirds. There is enough room for both of you to ride on the swing, so if you would like to, make your way over to it and climb aboard. Each day, after waking up and eating her breakfast, the princess comes outside and plays on the swing. She knows the magical surprise that waits for you, and is excited to share it with you today. As you climb onto the swing and get settled, it begins to move, gently at first, and then soaring higher and higher. You feel happy and safe 
since you know that the garden's magic will keep you from getting hurt. There is nothing to worry about, and so you and the princess enjoy the easy rhythm of the swing as it swings higher and higher. The flowers look like tiny speckles below you, but still you are not scared. You feel how the wind brushes against your cheeks and hair, and hear the princess giggling beside you. You both are having such a great time. As the swing soars higher, you begin to notice a certain sparkling in the air. It looks almost as if you were swinging through a cloud of silvery glitter. The glitter shines brighter and brighter, and then all of a sudden, you are surrounded by hundreds of tiny fairies. They are small, tiny enough to fit into the palm of your hand, and each one is entirely different. Some are wearing little caps made from acorn tops, while others wear dresses made from apple blossoms and woven grass. All of them are smiling though, excited to see the princess again and thrilled to meet you. As you swing, the fairies land on the swing all around you. Some cling on the swing's ropes, while others sit on your arms and legs. One even curls up in the princess's hair. You all swing together, flying higher and higher, surrounded by the jokes and laughter of your tiny fairy friends. After a while, the swing begins slowing down, returning to the garden around you. When it gets low enough, you and the princess hop off, and the fairies flutter all around you. This is your chance to play together in the garden. You can race through the soft grass or go swimming with the friendly goldfish that live in the pond. There is a patch of fresh strawberries growing nearby, and plenty of cool, clean water to drink. So just for right now, listen to the music and enjoy your playtime with the princess and your new fairy friends, and I will return in a few minutes.
after such a long time playing in the garden, you and the princess decide to go back inside the castle and get ready for bed. You take a bath in a giant tub filled with bubbles of all shapes, sizes and colours. You can dry yourself off using a big stack of soft, fluffy towels and brush your teeth using some special toothpaste that takes like cupcakes but is healthy for your teeth. And then, when you are ready, you and the princess walk through the castle, picking out the perfect bedroom for you. There are giant pillow beds, squishy mattresses filled with water, and even a room with a hammock decorated to look like the inside of a pirate ship. Take a few minutes to look at all the beds and when you are ready, you pick your favourite one. You climb into bed where your favourite stuffed animals are already waiting for you. The sheets are cool and smooth and the blankets feel so cosy against your face. The sleeping space you chose is quiet and dark, but up above you, the ceiling is painted with beautiful silvery stars. It looks like you are outside, staring up at the night sky, but you know that you are inside. Look a little closer and watch a shooting star or rocket ship zoom across the darkness. Everything is just right and you begin to feel sleepy. Nearby the little princess yawns. She is very tired from all the exploring, playing and swinging she did today. You have had a long day too. Allow yourself to drift off to sleep or simply lay quietly and listen to the music as the sounds of this meditation and story come soon to an end. Breathe deeply and enjoy this time. And do not be afraid to let your mind wander as you slip into a beautiful and restful sleep.